As the student, Annie knew that she had access to a lot of research resources, such as databases, but she hadn't really thought about the fact that this gave her a lot of information privilege. After all, any information that someone might need is probably available through Google or a public library, right? She didn't realize that for some people, even getting access to Google or visiting a library is a significant challenge. As an NKU student, Annie had access to a robust amount of information. For example, the scholarly journal article that she found through a database in the library is not available to individuals who are not students or faculty at the university, unless they can afford to pay for the article. Annie learned that there were many different factors that contribute to this lack of information access. Sometimes the factors were political or legal, such as copyright laws, that restrict how people can share information. Sometimes the factors were economical, such as the inability to purchase a computer, pay for internet access, or buy needed textbooks. Sometimes the problem was that people did not have information literacy or digital literacy. That is, they lack the education, skills, or experience necessary to be able to locate the information that they need, make sense of it, and use the information effectively. Annie learned that lack of access to information harms people in many ways. It deprives them of needed financial, medical, legal, and educational information. Without the necessary information, individuals struggle to perform tasks such as locating and applying for open jobs, obtaining support resources, making decisions in local elections, and even completing education. Having awareness of the challenges associated with information access, Annie recognizes her own information privilege while being better equipped to work with others who may not have equal access.